Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel. And in today's video, I will do a comparison of two PDF readers, Liquid Text and GoodReader. So just so you know a little bit about my user profile, I am finishing up a graduate degree in social work and I work primarily on an early version of the iPad Pro. I've been using GoodReader for some time, but I'm pretty open to other apps if they would better suit my needs. So I use GoodReader for really two reasons, to read and highlight PDFs and to manage PDF files. I use a different app, Notability, for handwriting or drawing, so I don't need either of these apps to perform that function for me. Okay, let's get started on this side-by-side -side comparison of GoodReader and Liquid Text. First, price. So GoodReader is $6 in the App Store, and you can download Liquid Text for free. Liquid Text has a pro version for $30, but most of those extra functions were outside of my basic needs. I will happily throw down $6 for an app that makes my life easier, so I consider that cost to, uh, difference to be negligible. Sync across devices. So GoodReader allows you to sync files across devices. Plus, you can save files to the iCloud folder to make them available to all devices using the same Apple ID. Syncing is not available in the free version of Liquid Text. It requires the $30 upgrade. Platforms. So GoodReader is available for iOS devices. There's an app for the iPad and an app for the iPhone. Liquid Text has an iPad app, but no iPhone app. However, it is available for Android, PC, and I think the Mac version is also out now. Appearance or file organization. Liquid Text clearly wins in this department. It is a slick looking app and allows you to view by thumbnail or by list. GoodReader has been around since 2009 and you can tell. It is clunky looking and it looks a lot like an old Usenet interface from the, 19, from the early 90s. File management, by which I mean deleting, renaming, and moving files is awkward and it takes more clicks than you'd want it to. Importing PDFs. GoodReader does this easily using the share sheet from other apps, plus it allows you to import using the iPad file folder, photos, um, a computer connection, Google Drive, or other cloud options. Liquid Text allows you to import a web page or a photo, but the options beyond that are more limited. You can import from the iPad file folder, but when I tried using the share sheet from a different app, Liquid Text totally freaked out. It crashed the app multiple times, and now I have these really weird phantom files that I can't get rid of. To be safe, I would want to save the file to the iPad and then import it from the file folder, but this is a pain in the neck. GoodReader wins in this department. Highlights and comments. So this is what I do the most in my PDF reader app. I read a lot of articles and textbooks and I highlight and comment as I go. Both apps do a serviceable job of this. GoodReader has a few more options. You can highlight with different colors, comment, cross out, underline, squiggly underline. With Liquid Text, some of those options are not available in the free version, but to be frank, it meets my basic needs. In addition, Liquid Text allows you to fluidly move to the next page, whereas GoodReader requires you to save changes for each page before you move on. And again, Liquid Text has a prettier interface for all of us. Liquid Text wins on this one. Exporting highlights. When I finish reading a chapter, I export all of my highlights and comments so that I can keep them separately in a note or in a spreadsheet. You can see my video on this if you were interested. Both apps do a decent job of this. However, GoodReader exports a text file, which is easy to manipulate, whereas Liquid Text exports a Word file, which is more annoying and requires a few additional steps for me. GoodReader wins on this count. Navigation. Liquid Text has a navigation bar on the left here. I like that you can see visually where the highlights and the comments are, and if you drag the marker, you can navigate directly to a page number. GoodReader's navigation is slightly clunkier with this navigation bar at the bottom. However, it has a nice thumbnail when you can, dra you can drag the marker. And most importantly, you can bring up this multi-page view, which I find absolutely essential when navigating through a document that is several hundred pages. GoodReader wins on this one. Liquid Text cool features. I was really excited about some of the innovative Liquid Text functionality. This app was created by students at Georgia Tech, so it is developed specifically for hardcore research. It is something called a workspace, which you can expand by dragging this partition. You can drag excerpts, comments, etc. into the workspace and group them there logically or join them up. Clicking on this arrow gets you back to the originating place in the text. So this allows you to engage with the information in a more tactile way, sorting and grouping similar thoughts and information. In addition, Liquid Text allows you to pinch your document together so that all of your highlights and comments are visible and the other text is pinched out. 
All of this is really cool in theory, but in actuality, I struggled with it a bit. I found the workspace and navigating back to the original text to be super disorienting, and I couldn't get the pinching to work the way I wanted it to. Again, this is my own brain and probably some good old user error, but I much prefer to export important pieces of information and then manipulate um, the, those and group them within a spreadsheet outside of that document. So it turns out those features were not as useful for me. Good reader, cool features. Where Goodreader really stands out for me is in its ability to manipulate PDF files. So I can do things on my iPad that on a PC would require software costing several hundred dollars. I can add pages, I can split a document, I can append or put two documents together, I can rearrange and delete pages. I use these functions all of the time and Liquid Text doesn't have anything like it. So everyone has different needs, but in the end, despite not being as slick or having fancy grouping features, I'm sticking with Goodreader. It's a solid app that handles extremely large files with ease and does all the basic things that I need for grad school. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.